All right, back from the break. You just get centered a bit. Thank you, Alkia. I know wish I had an elevator in this house. Mm. But anyway. We do have elevators in the game. Whatever these gear things would be counted as. I know there was another box down there, but there was no other way to go to get it. What's in your pants? Time. <laughs> yes, definitely not taller than me now. Thank you for the redemption, Elkia. Uh, I hope you don't mind us intruding, but we heard there might be a rather special light here in the tower that can well that can bring people back we've lost someone very special you see and well we were hoping you might be able to help us you speak of time sphere if you were to harness its power, that which you seek might be attained. But to lose time is to lose much. The path you propose to follow is not one to be trodden lightly. Yeah, exactly. Let's not do it. To lose time? What do you mean? Time sphere is the crystallization of all that has taken place in Erdria since memory began. Each moment gathered by the spirits of lost time, savored, remembered. To take a sword to the sphere would be to erase those moments, to return to the time of the last intact memory. Wow, you're you're actually suggesting the take sword to the spear? Why are you why are you saying this? If your companion is to be restored to you, time itself must be destroyed. Okay, you heard the timekeeper. Bad idea. As I say, to lose time is to lose much. I know Veronica is important and all, but no. So in order to save Veronica, 
We would need to turn back time. I think I'm beginning to get the picture. We'd need to go back to... I. We'd need to go back to before Yggdrasil fell. That way, we could stop Mordigan before it was too late. Oh my gosh, Rap, no. That wouldn't just save Veronica. It would save the whole of Erdria. Think of all the pain and suffering we could prevent. Uh, no. It is possible. All is possible. It may be that returning to that particular fork in the flow of time brings all that you wish and more. Or, come on, timekeeper. But it must be done. I would gladly give up all that has happened since that day for the chance to change it. Yeah, Hendrik, you want to go back to being your bitchy self. Aye. Alas, to lose time is to lose much. Only one of you may return to that place. Huh? The sphere can be broken but once. By a single hand, a hand possessed of a singular power. The luminary, of course. In this world, only one such power exists. That of the luminary. I see you. I know you. I knew you. Moment you appeared. Only you can break the sphere, and only with the sword of light. I can't do it with the sword of shadow? It used to be the sword of light. When it is broken, when the memories are shattered, you will return to the past, and there you Stay. You mean he'll have to live it all again? He can't come back here to us? To lose time is to lose much. This world, this reality, these will be lost to you. And that is not all. The outcome of the sphere's shattering is impossible to foresee. You may be lost forever, trapped in a corner of time, a half-faded memory. <laughs> you think, Elkia? <gasps> That's awful! Your present? Your companions, your life even, all these may be lost to you. Knowing this, are you willing to risk all for the sake of your departed friend? Wait, why is it right at the end of Dragon Quest 3? There's no time travel in Dragon Quest 3. Oh. Oh, that's what you mean. Well, I mean, in this case, I won't technically be away from them, because I'll still be with them, just a different version of them.
Yeah, Kanuda, the hero fades into obscurity to become Erdrick, the hero of legend. Excuse me, does not disappear. Dragon Quest 3 happens before Dragon Quest 1 and 2. Yeah, Kanuda, that, that's the question. That's why we shouldn't do this, but you know what? If they give me a yes or no question, they're going to force me to say yes. Only you can decide. I will await you before the sphere. Alright, time to leave. Bye. But thou mustest not. Hey, Brielkia. I mean, I can, uh, I can say, okay, give us the option and, and it might not matter if we say yes or no. But the ones that just loop around until you say whatever they want you to say, those, those ones annoy me. So, how do I get to the other treasure box? Maybe they're not telling me I can't leave. But I'm sure there's nothing else significant to do either. <sighs> Alright, let's go ruin everything. I flew by isn't actually a box, it just looks like one. Hmm. How annoying. Maybe it was that box. I just didn't notice it was open. Alright, we're here. We're ready to destroy everything. I'm 
sorry, but you simply can't do this. We won't let you. Wait, what a minute? What way? Whoa. They're being smart? I mean, I don't want to do this. Sorry, Doug, but you simply can't do this. We won't let you. I cut my hair and Veronica gave me her powers. I vowed that I would use them to carry on our sacred mission and protect you. I would do anything that... If I would let anything happen to you, she would never forgive me. I have no choice but to stop you from doing this. Fate seems to have a habit of snatching away those I care about most, but not this time. Save a tired old man more heartache than he can bear, will you? I lose you too, I, I, I'll, I don't know what I'll do. I let you go once, and I promised I'd never do it again. Please don't do this, I, I don't want to lose you. I cannot permit you to do this. Curse it all, why can't I go not go? Why can't I not put a stop to Mortigan? Must I really remain here idle while you risk all for the sake of our fallen companion? Yeah, really. Are we sure we can't just give the sword to Hendrik and, and force him to make the risk? But then again, that's just as bad. We still don't want to destroy everything. Darling, don't you feel like you've done enough? I mean, you defeated the Lord of Shadows, didn't you? I don't want to lose anybody else. I don't think I could bear it. Alright. Bye. All right, archaeologist. Rest up. Turn off your computer. Love you too. What this through, Doug? the timekeeper. You go back. That's there. That's it. No way to go home. No guarantees you'll even make it to where you want to go. Sure you want to do this? No. I didn't think so. Alright, let's get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Seriously? time they finally let the choice matter but it doesn't actually matter because the because the story won't continue unless I do it
Yeah, but can you, there's still so many unanswered things. He's hitting me. Things that I'm not going to find out unless I do this. Um, where's the key that opens all the gray doors? Why is there a... Why is there a locked... A locked, um... Crypt near the Warrior's Rest Inn? Uh, where's the rest of our mini metal treasures? Um, let's see. Da, 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 da... How come we could never read all the all the mysterious books in the library near Sniffleheim? There's something in Engerla. That I just that, that just didn't feel right. Oh yeah, and what happened? What happened to the person who destroyed Erdrick's star? Because it wasn't the Lord of Shadows and it wasn't the Gatekeeper like I thought it was. Take Crystal returns. Lord of Shadows no more. Life breathed back in to Erdria, new dawn. Dead shall rise, new life, new leaves on tree, all thanks to Luminary. You know, if Yggdrasil hadn't come back to life and fixed everything, I'd feel far more comfortable with trying to break time to try to fix things. Hear that, game? Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Maybe you should have thought about that before fixing the world, Yggdrasil. Because then at least I, I, there's a much better, there would be a much better risk-reward payout. Welcome back, Elkia. Oh no, is your food okay? But at least it's mostly okay. Here, have some forbidden candy. Oh, hello. Hi, hi, Crystal. Thank you, thank you so much for the read. Oh, 
folks, if you're not following SN Reloaded, aka Crystal, he is one of the members of the LGBT cafe, and definitely go give her a follow. I play Barotrauma with her and others on Tuesdays, and it's great, great friend. For those of you who are coming in with Crystal who might not already know me, I am Sarah. I am a 20 foot tall VTuber Kitsune, transgender. My pronouns are they, them, although I do sometimes use she, her. Um, sometimes I am also taller than 20 feet, like right now, because there was a redemption for it. <laughs> anyway. Um, I like to play a variety of story games, and mostly because I enjoy doing lots of different voices. Yeah, I am glad that you are here. I hope that you enjoy. Thank you, thank you. I can make these fancy new weapons. Except for the fact that I have to have prior weapons. Well, that kind of sucks. Inspiration Strike! I think... It said any, anything I do, not just my regular hit, right? Right? Oh, I have to actually use it. Okay.
Did I do it? No. No, Canuda. I'm, I'm waffling. Oh, this is part of a set, you say. A warrior princess set. It sounds... It sounds sexist. Yeah, that flash of inspiration would have been really nice. Fine. I'll just take a plus two. Uh, the liquid metal great sword isn't, isn't even as good as the sword of shadows. I'm making the liquid metal goomerang just because.
Darn it, nothing was close enough. I sure hope it's it's good. I'm out of focus. <laughs> All right, Crystal. Thank you so much again for the read. Enjoy your dinner. A set that's made just for Hendrick. How about no? Of course, you know, I'm doing all this right before I break time. Do, do I get to keep all this stuff? Hephaestus's flame. It's too bad it's random. <laughs> but I guess if it weren't, I would just use it to finish off everything. You enjoying your forbidden candy, Elkia? Uh. 
Nokia, you're so silly. You know, I was actually expecting bare legs, not a leotard. Well, a leotard with bare legs, so this... This is far nicer than I thought it was going to be. It's still really silly? But it's nicer than I thought it was going to be. the other one I made. Okay, I know I made two boomerangs, and I know that one of them didn't come out plus zero. Where's my other boomerang? for the butt. That's really pretty. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean the thing is, if 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 you need to move your legs a lot, you can't have a full skirt. So, so a skirt like this lets you 
have a quote-unquote skirt while still having freedom of movement. You mean this? I don't know. I, I really can't tell. I don't know, aren't bare shoulders supposed to be the pinnacle of, of feminine beauty? Stop you. Oh, Luminary Landing. Elkia, which one was it? The one for Serena or the one for Jade? I have no idea. I'm I'm not fashion savvy, obviously. Like it should be Luffier. I don't know. Still want to know why my why this boomerang does not have plus on it. I'm mad. I don't know. I need to get uh I need to get time woven in here. The fashion dragon to to weigh in. He'd he'd have a better a better idea. Alright, let's go break time. Nokia, I think my characters just have access to better clothes than I do. Because I don't put them in anything I wouldn't wear.
At least the ones that represent me. Elkia can can uh Elkia can vouch for this that that the uh stuff I've I've done in Final Fantasy XIV just runs the gamut from from uh completely covered to to uh tastefully tastefully revealing. But, um, speaking of this... What? Yes, tastefully revealing. Oh, that's fine, Ganuda. to try and talk you out of this. Oh really? Everyone is trying to talk me out of it. Except you. But you'd better not mess this up. You go back there and you save her, you hear? Save us all. Do what you have to do. We won't stand in your way. I could fell Morgan with my own hand. It means me to leave this to you, Doug. But know that I have the strength to save this world. You're the luminary and I believe in you. So, uh... Does this mean I have to kill Jade's dad? Yeah, I know, it only took months. Trust Eric to upstage me like that, honestly. But he's right. It's clear we won't be able to talk you out of this. I've realized something. I want everyone in the world to be happy, right? So why should all those poor darlings in the past miss out, huh? That just wouldn't be fair. So you go back there, you make them smile, you hear? Every single one of them. I know you can do it, honey. Oh, do I need to wear, wear a specific outfit, Sylvando? Because I can. I understand why you want to do this. How can I not? And I can see that your mind is made up. So I suppose I must let you go, much as it pains me. Good luck, Doug. We shall miss you. No, you you won't exist anymore. Oh, oh don't look so down in the mouth, laddie. You're a big boy now, so chin up. Believe in yourself and there's nothing you can't do. All I ever wanted was to protect you, Doug. Maybe that's why it's hard for me to imagine you fighting this battle alone. But I know that you can do it. I believe in you. We all do. Now go and save the world. I'm sure, Kanuda. I'm absolutely certain.
All right, let's make everyone smile. I would say no, Elkia. It just said that that's one of the things we retain. When you shatter the sphere, all that you possess will be placed within them. Why can't we just stick our friends in them? Thus, may the items you require journey with you to the past. There is one item that will not survive the journey. The Sword of Light. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to break when I hit the spear. That's why I should be using the Sword of Shadows. But you should retain possession of its twin, the Sword of Shadows. This will surely prove to be a more than worthy weapon the time being. Now you know all that I know. All else is unknowable. When you are ready, join me by the spear. No, I'm not sure, but you're going to make me anyway. <laughs> no, I'm not absolutely certain. Why are you asking me this? I will save it in a different spot, I promise. again. But know this. I stand ready to pledge myself to your cause once more. To be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. Yeah, whatever. I will run you through, Hendrik. <laughs> yes, yes. Very dramatic, Hendrik, honey. Now, if you've quite finished frowning and swearing oaths... Farewell, darling. I look forward to seeing you in the past. I know you can do this. I know you won't let anything stand in your way. And the us's of the past will be there for you whenever you need us. Now, if I know your grandfather, he'll have a few words to say before you go. <sighs> You've grown into a fine figure of a man, laddie. The us's. Don't look down now. We'll only be apart a wee while. We're back there waiting for you after all. You'll do us proud. I know you will. How could you not do? 
You're my own flesh and blood after all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm? I... I suppose I began this journey with you, feeling that I was simply doing my duty. But it became so much more than that. I'll never forget the time we've spent together. So please, if you don't mind, I hope you'll take me along with you all over again. How far back am I going? The time of departure is upon us. Luminary, take the sword of light in hand. Brack, he wouldn't even listen to Jade, the princess, with first-hand knowledge. Wait, we changed our mind. This isn't goodbye, not by a long shot. See you on the other side. But I know one thing, we're going to stop him. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. I mean, Elkia, we're basically are, in my opinion. Yep, here's how I'm going to convince Hendrik that I am not 
the dark spawn because I have the Sword of Shadows. Save the world, but more properly this time. <laughs> yeah, Drac, I'm not really surprised. You all the way out here. Your companions are all gathered in the cathedral. Jethapal and Benedictus will be concerned to see that you're not with them. Return to your Macrathy. I'm supposed to be making people smile. Serenica, blessed ancestor, the time has come at last for us to fulfill our destiny. Well, certainly didn't have this scene before. We're going to use the orbs to take the luminary up to the world tree, and he's going to awaken the power that will banish the darkness. We've never been up to Yggdrasil before, so we don't know what's up there waiting for us. But no matter what happens, I swear I won't let the Luminary come to harm. He's our light and our hope, and he'll rid our world of darkness. I know he will! Serenica! Sage of legend, lend me your power. Help me fulfill my duty and protect the luminary. <laughs> hmm? <gasps> Oi! What are you doing here? Wait, you weren't listening, were you? No, we just got here, Veronica. What do you think you're up to, waltzing in here with that great ugly things strapped to your back anyway. And where in the world have you been? <laughs> Father Benedictus was talking to us all, and you just upped and disappeared without so much as a by your leave. What were you thinking? I don't know. I, I need to take a few months to, uh, to think about things, Veronica, and I decided that I really needed you back. like a big weirdo. So come on, pull yourself together. Darling, there you are. We couldn't find you anywhere. Oh, we were so worried about you. Person at the entrance says everyone's waiting for you in here and it was just Veronica. Well, don't look so surprised to see us. We've been right here all along, you know. Uh, what's with that sword? You're supposed to be the good guy, remember? Huh. Well, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, time to get this show on the road. Father Benedictus says we're to take the orbs and offer them up to the altar at the top of the mountain. We need to go through those doors and follow the path through the first forest, apparently. 
Shall we get going? Aye. Not long now till we get up to the World Tree at long last, and finally find out how to get rid of that rotten Mordigan. Let's away! <laughs> uh, sure. Alright. Don't worry. Happy Smiley. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Hello, people who have nothing. I don't care about you. Come on, they're here. Learn them. The only one for some reason, Eric, who has your your stuff shown in advance. And I don't know why. I guess Sylvando didn't, but Sylvando didn't learn anything extra. Keep all my money. Yep. Here you go, Sylvando. Throw money away like it's no tomorrow. Maybe I just need to respec you entirely. the equipped two things of down there. I don't think it was up here. Of course it's gone, Drac. But I mean, Hendrik didn't have any personal character growth, so we're not missing anything there. Everyone else? I kind of miss that.
to the fine. I'm just gonna start over entirely with you. Maybe not. I'm surprised that they didn't take these away also, considering I can't get to them. Yep, yep. <clears throat> this is gonna be weird.
Oh, this is higher magical ability. I guess it is. your stuff on. I swear it's okay. Everyone is thinking at this moment, where did you get all this stuff? Don't ask. Came with the sword. Pretty much. There's something else that had magical light on it. I don't think it was the Sorcerer's Stone.
Welcome back, Elkia. You didn't miss much. Just missing me re-equipping everyone. Plus side, I don't have Hendrick anymore. Negative side, I was the only one who kept my levels. Then what? I said, plus side, no Hendrick. Downside, only I kept my levels. from you. Do I have a quest for you? Super soup. Um, okay. Red kale, huh? Sure, buddy, I'll get right on that. I mean, what happens if I were to play the Calamus Fleet right now? I mean, why walk? Let's just fly up. Someone out in the forest here. I know that poorly. Dr. Say doesn't know how to make them better, but I think I might know a way. Raphael and Soli Man Magical Flower called the Wish Terrier. He said that when they bloom, they grant a single wish. But the seeds are very difficult to get hold of. The only way to obtain them is to track down a fairy romance to call the White Bull and defeat it in battle. You and your friends look very strong. Could you defeat one for me and bring me back some mysterious seeds? Might be my only hope. Thank you. I can just get my hands on some of those seeds. I'll be able to wish for them to make them well again when the flowers finally bloom. White bulbs that carry them live in the first forest, but they only appear very rarely. Try finding their friends the sprite bulbs. Bite a sprite and a white bite. That's what my grandfather always told me. 
is to find what I'm counting on you. After all, you're my only hope. Please bring me back the seeds I need to make me better. <laughs> when you wish upon a seed. zoom to a place I haven't been to, technically. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, I think you might have missed it, but Eric took one look at the sword that I have, and he was like, we're supposed to be the good guys, but I guess whatever floats your boat? Narrow, I'm hating it. Why do we have to do stupid time travel? Look, okay, we have Veronica back. Okay, that's great. But we destroyed time to do it. Have all the stuff you had had before. Look, I am happy to get get Veronica back, but you know what? It's like, oh, okay, great, we can get Veronica back by by just blowing up the world. And maybe it'll work. Easy peasy. In general, I don't know why they wouldn't consider it canon. Just because it's part of the, uh... Just because they didn't... Just because it wasn't in the original version of the game? doesn't feel much like a joke. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that you meant Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, who's Kuja? You don't do time travel. <laughs> yes, the clown, that's, that's Kefka, and you don't do time travel in Final Fantasy VI. Canuda. Yeah, Terra's half Esper. But that ha that has that doesn't confer her time travel abilities. Fancy Nine with Kuja. Final Fantasy VIII had some kind of time travel stuff, but uh, that was that was weird thing like time compression. Fancy one does have a time loop. Frank, you know, I might be because Garland is in Final Fantasy Nine and Final Fantasy 9 and Final Fantasy 1 sometimes merge in my head because of that.
All right, items. Yeah, Jonathan, time travel has happened. After the gatekeeper explicitly said time travel would not happen. I do have a hard time counting Kefka among a successful villain when he was basically batshit crazy. more chaotic and neutral in my opinion. Yeah, the Empire screwed with him.
Stop dodging. By the way, Kanita, your about your thought about time travel not being canon because it erases things. It as long as there's someone who remembers that it happened, it wasn't erased. And at the very least, in this case, Doug still remembers. Of course, if he didn't, he wouldn't be able to change anything. of the opinion that timelines are not just one single thing and it's not actually erased it just diverged though, Elkia, this is bad writing. Well, of course, in this case, he literally did destroy time. But I would have been far more more inclined to do the time travel thing had Yggdrasil not fixed everything. Bites the dust. It's true, Canuda.
Yeah, can you go ahead? Vacuum smash and see it in the list. Well, since the world's not going to be destroyed this time, I guess there's no rush for me to bring the thing back. than I thought it would be. Sounds mostly like just a difference in in terms. Nero says it's a theory because it's based on a definition that he knows as the scientific definition of hypothesis. But um I 
I don't know. Another one bites the dust. else wants some. Are you ready for this? First the rear enemy doesn't want to come out. Using important, well-defined, well-defined terms are important in in debates. Not so much when just when just uh, discussing things. That's why it's also important to know if that's what you're doing, is if you're having a serious discussion or, and debating a topic or just, you know, chatting. Because if one person feels that you're just chatting and the other person feels like, oh, we're doing, we're doing an actual debate here, well then your terminology might not end up being the same that way either.
rare enemy is not going to show up, is it? <sighs> We're going to start peoning in chat now. Oh look, they're gonna stop me here again. Oh, 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 oh this trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Pick him up and carry him. We need to hurry. Oh well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? Let's not. Carry him. <sighs> Leave him behind, even better. So, we'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's all right, really be like safe, the Jonathan. Said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from? Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. Hmm. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? We can draw him out of the body without beheading your father, sure. Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? So are we going to pull out our, our, uh, flute also? Huh? Mm -mm. No. The High Priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? Veronica? Hmm? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll fall at the same time, too? Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. <sighs> 
But I hope they do. <laughs> what, we're not going to get to hear the other part? Welcome back, Meryl. Hey, does this mean Hendrix gonna become the big bad? I can live with that. Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. Ah, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? Sorry, Nero. All right, rainbow staircase, go. thought he was done climbing. Ha 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 ha. Looks really dangerous to walk on though. A bridge made of rainbows. It's beautiful. Looks like it's finally time for our date with destiny. Come on, we'd better not keep Yggdrasil waiting. You know, when I first came here, I figured it was going to be like a... Like an elevator. Nope. Nope. So we got the Sword of Shadows, so we will definitely convince Hendrik that we're not the Dark Spawn. Lovely tales for you, Nero. Some beautiful, gorgeous, fluffy tales.
So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's strange. I feel like I've been here before. Is that what they said the last time we were here? Is this a new cutscene, finally? I know what you mean. It's weirdly familiar. Well, it is the source of all life. I guess that makes sense. Okay, I don't remember this. This is definitely a new cutscene. I do remember that, Ow? though. Well, that's not very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. Aye, and so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The Sword of Light. Now, laddie, it's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. You know what? I think I'll just leave it in there. No? Well, this is the old Sword of Light, Elkia. Find us. Find you? <laughs> Did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? <laughs> what was that? Now, now, princess, such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? I know, my big glowing purple sword says otherwise, Jasper. But it will take more than a showy new weapon to defeat me. Come, Luminary. All of you. Prepare for the end. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death. Your journey ends here. So surely you do not intend to dispel my barrier? I don't know. Glowy purple sword says otherwise. Sword of Shadows. That's what I did.
the power of darkness. Yes, smile at me. Don't do anything. I'll do my very best. brought Serena up, but turns out I didn't need her. Did yes, yeah, definitely Kanita, not this time. So, so where's Hendrik? Wasn't he here to watch this last time? And what do we have here? What has Jasper led us into? What happened here? Your pal showed his true colors. That's what happened. He's no servant of Heliodor. He sold his soul to the forces of evil. And it's like, well, I didn't see it, so it didn't happen. <gasps> the Luminary is not your enemy. It was Jasper all along. Curse <laughs> you. So this is how you repay your king, with treachery. Master, help me. Faithless cur! You would dare to betray me? Betray your kingdom? Death is more than you deserve. Uh. I am grateful to you, Hendrik. If you had not brought me here, I may never have learned the truth. If not for your intervention, who knows how long it might have continued? Who knows how much damage might have been wrought? <sighs> I was merely doing my duty, sire. I only wish he had been unmasked sooner. Yeah, well, you know, Hendrik, he could have been unmasked sooner if you had maybe listened to Jade. Listen to your instincts. It seems I owe you an apology. 
I have visited a grave injustice upon you. It was Jasper who spoke of the Dark Spawn, who poisoned me against you. I see now that all this was merely part of his wicked scheme. Father. I, I don't like how this is going. Oh, uh, Jade! My beloved daughter. How is it that I did not see you there? Today is a day of surprises indeed. <laughs> Come, <laughs> let me look at you. Like, oh, uh, hi, person I, I didn't recognize because I haven't seen you forever. And didn't know. Uh, 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 we get Veronica back because Jade dies? You have suffered greatly, Lord Robert. The fall of Dundrasil and all that has happened since were tragic events indeed. But it is time to put them behind us and face the future. Would you not agree? Sorry, Your Majesty, but I'll be putting nothing behind me until I've dealt with the cause of it all. Mordigan. Ah, yes. Mordigan. Doubtless, Jasper bent the knee to that fiend. I see now that he is the source of the evil that afflicts our world. No doubt, he is out there even as we speak. Lying low, biding his time. Uh, yep, he's definitely lying low and biding his time. But we have the luminary on our side. Now... You must claim the Sword of Light. The sacred power of Yggdrasil is your birthright. Take it. It is long past time. Now, how about we just leave it here? Oh, it's Jasper is Mordigan's man on the inside all along, eh? I don't think there's any doubt on that after all we just saw. You may not know where Mordigan's hiding himself, but what we do with Sword of Light's help us finish the job? Go on, Letty. Head on over to the heart and claim your birthright. I'm looking forward to seeing my father again for so long. It doesn't feel like I thought it would. I just can't seem to relax around him. Sorry, Doug, but I don't... I think I'm quite ready for a happy reunion just like For all those years apart, there's a big gap to close. Maybe your instincts are just going on. Jasper, if I would have sworn Knight of Heliodor sell his soul to the darkness, it could have possibly been worth such a price. Seven of Darkness is defeated. What to do is defeat the master. Seems our adventure is fast approaching its grand finale. We just need to find out where Mordigan is hiding. Only Jasper was still alive. Perhaps he might have been able to tell us. Um, yeah, yeah, that's probably why he's not alive anymore. Because he would have told us. Wow, that Jasper really had it in for us, didn't he? It's a miracle he made out of that battle alive. It's a good job you spotted him when he did. If you hadn't blocked that spell he slung at you, goodness knows what would have happened. You know, I should probably equip a weapon. Just saying. Jasper filed the first spell at us. I thought we were done for. And we would have been if it wasn't for you. So much a crazy sword of yours. You get that thing anyway. <laughs> Ever was, it wouldn't be taken back any time soon. It shattered into a zillion pieces. Yeah, which uh, King Carnelian picked up a piece. So now Mordigan has a piece of the future. A piece of the Sword of Light. Oh, that Jasper guy was just the worst. Why climb up all the way here and try to finish us off? Why didn't he attack us down on the ground? 
so much I want to ask him, but then old King C decided to make himself judge, jury, and executioner. I'll never know. Morgan remains at large. He's the cause of all the chaos. Go, Luminary, claim the Sword of Light. Only this grand weapon can end this Lord of Shadow's reign. Well, I mean... He was his king. It makes sense to call him Master, right? But no, it, it appears that everyone has short brain cells. Sure, sure, let's do it. Let's do the stupid thing of entering in here. Take a closer look. I run it through your belly to take a closer look. Oh, the that that weird time ghost. What was that? Well, no matter. Now that we have the sword, let us return to Heliodor. We must celebrate your triumph. Wait, you're inviting us back to the castle. But of course, Lord Robert, you are the defenders of Yggdrasil. The unmaskers of the traitor Jasper. Your great deeds deserve recognition. Pause it and start it again, Elkia. Well, Luminary, I trust that you will take me up on my invitation. I have chosen Regicide. I will make amends. I swear it. We will go ahead and begin the preparations. We look forward to welcoming you in Heliodor. Look, I got the Sword of Light. Give me back my real sword. The super sword of light. Where'd my other sword go? Oh, wow, okay, maybe I maybe I will use this. Yes, the super duper sword of super actual for real light.
I don't know, maybe... Maybe he didn't get to keep his... keep as many memories as we thought he would. I figured this would just go straight down. I didn't think there would be a whole area involved. I guess there's not that much of an area, though. You might be able to use it to return to the ground below, so do you want to return to the ground below? I'd say maybe then. Concerned, it's still alive. bunch of knuckleheads. Or rather a knucklehead that is leading a bunch of other people, at least. Hi Sandy, how you doing? here who doesn't follow Sandy, please do do so. She is the best knucklehead on Twitch, a wonderful VTuber, one of my favorite people out of the Tokyo Pop Rocks um, community, and just a, just a great, wonderful, all-around person. You answered every question, did not find play anything. You even answered archaeologists' questions? Those of you who are coming in with Sandy who might not know me, I am Sarah. I am a 20-foot tall transgender Kitsune VTuber. My pronouns are they, them, although I do sometimes use she, her. I play a variety of games, although I do lean towards story-type games because I enjoy doing different types of voices. And all the art here for my channel has been done by me pretty much. Uh, includes layout, my avatar, and nearly all of the emotes. But welcome in! Hope you enjoy your time here.
you go. There's two of your seeds I asked you to look for. Ray, you kept your promise. Thank you so much. My grandfather told me that the bigger the wish that you asked for the seeds, the prettier the flowers will be if they finally bloom. I wonder if my wish terries will be pretty. Actually, I don't have to wonder. I just have to wish and wait. Someday soon I'll see for myself. Thanks to you, I can dream of the future again. Here, I want you to have this. Yeah, that's pretty much it, Elkia. There was no story element that you missed, just me leaving. Did you find the red cow? The vital ingredient. I merely added to my super soup. The recipe will at last be complete. I'll prepare it immediately. Mm -hmm. This is disgusting. I've never tasted anything quite so foul in all my life. Wait. Feel it. This is working. Oh, I am bursting with energy. Is it the life force of the first force? No. The world tree herself is surging through my every sinew. Did you, did you mix in Yggdrasil leaves also? You are a true servant of celebrity, my young friend. Take this. May it bring you happiness, but more importantly, health. Just be going to Fabulous. Yeah, yeah, sure. Jade looks so excited too. been back to Heliodor since the very beginning of the game. The king is hosting someone rather important up at the castle. I wonder who it could be. For interest, you should have a yourself. Straight up this road, climb the steps, you go in and Bob's your uncle. Remember, they don't let anyone in at night. Uh huh. Sus. Bob's not your uncle, Elkia. Bob's everyone's uncle. Struck a light! It's you, ex do best pal. Good to see you alive and well. If you plan on heading up to the castle, make sure they don't chuck you into the dungeons again, won't you? My little charmed, I'm sure. I was lucky enough to be married to the Magnificent Duck. I was such an awful lot about you. One understands the king has personally invited you to the castle. Dark seems rather more excited about it than you are. I wonder why. 
Our king is amazing. He lost his young Dara, but he didn't let it break him. No, he just kept on giving everything for his kingdom. He never allowed his sadness to show. I'm sure he's thinking all of us. He didn't want us to worry about him. What a man. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, goodness, all those mouth-watering rumors drifting from the castle. But I wouldn't give to have a plate full of whatever it is they're making. Come back to Heliodor, dog. King has told us everything that happened. I've been posted to make sure there are no gopas hanging around staring at you. Let's go ahead to the castle. Yep, gotta make sure there are no witnesses. So there's a terrible misunderstanding. I'm gonna put it all behind us. Oh, you may pass. Well, right, Doug, I hope you can find your heart. Forgive us for all the injustices we have visited upon you. His Majesty wishes to apologize to you too. Please go ahead. He's waiting for you. The king thought he had lost his daughter. It hit him very hard. It's nice seemed to change overnight, but then, going through something like that, I'm not surprised. I hope they're having Princess Jade back with him after all these years. There's some way to healing the pain it caused. Uh. Majesty is waiting for you. To get to the throne room, head up these stairs and go straight ahead. But... No, look. The evil that infests the castle is still here. Clay pots. Also, they won't let me wander around. Clear signs of sus. signs. They should let me wander everywhere and anywhere. I'm the luminary. This means there's a curious tension in the air. Strange, I assume that king returned to the castle then he ordered the repair of great banquet in honor of the luminary. Well, unless I'm missing something, isn't the luminary also the wicked darkspawn? Arbiter of calamity? What his majesty can be thinking? Oh, well, made a terrible mistake. We thought you were the dark spawn, but it turns out you were a hero all along. We're so sorry to think we welcomed you to Heliodor by slinking you in the dungeons. It's safe to say that that will never happen again. Really now? You want to bet on that? Why not? Why not? Princess Jade is with me. Let me into her room. Make your way to the throne room. Nah, I think I'm gonna look around first. So I'm missing, and the king is acting very strangely indeed. What is the world is happening here? No one told you what happened, Jasper. Is Hendrik just just not talking to anyone? Sorry, Mr. Luminary, sir. You must forgive us for having been so wrong about you. I feel awful. But to be fair, we did think you were the Dark Spawn and that you were going to ruin everything, and well, it was all the King's idea, really. Truth. 
true Elkia. Hendrick's gonna blame us. Sky and Star in the Skies knows Edwin's Lantern, you know. Scholars have long wondered how it got that name, but I'm afraid it's reigned a mystery. I find myself gazing at it a lot recently. Is it just my imagination? Or does it seem to be getting bigger? Yeah, I see no reason that it would stop falling just because we changed time. Oh look, a mini metal. Wow, I got an achievement for it. I can't get any prizes for it, but I got an in-game achievement. Oh, for finding mini medals. Let's get this over with. This looks really familiar. Honored Luminary, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you in the manner you deserve at last. To think. I once thought ill of you, saw you as a harbinger of calamity, called you unconscionable things. You are truly, Jasper cast a most malign shadow. I know. I, Elkia, I'm just gonna have to go, go with the thought that Doug didn't actually remember anything. Except he gets these flashes of insight. revealed the traitor in our midst and returned my daughter to me as a small token of my appreciation i have arranged for some special visitors hendrick if you would yes sir Yeah, that's right, I haven't seen you since uh, the beginning of the game, in this timeline, technically. I was so worried about you. I heard all these horrible stories. I, I thought you, you might be. Nita, stop. Jasper came with all these soldiers. I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He ordered us all to gather in the middle of the village, and then... Then he told his men to kill us all. But Sir Hendrick came to the rescue. He showed up just in the nick of time and told Jasper to let us live. Really? Hendrick was the one who did it? were safe and then they came and told us you weren't a baddie after all and let us go wait a minute this doesn't this doesn't sound right you didn't get locked up in the castle before from what i remember or did you we've been through an awful lot love but from what i hear so have you i'm proud of you and so is your granddad i'm sure 
<laughs> now let us begin the festivities at last. A banquet worthy of our savior awaits. From this day forth, none shall doubt the luminary. He shall be honored, celebrated, adored. So when I say that King Carnelian is Mortigan, you're, you'll roll with it, right, King? Hug and his companions are the guests of honor at a banquet the likes of which Heliodora has never seen. The singing, dancing, and merriment last long into the night. At last, the revelers retire to bed. Yeah, I think you're right, Elkia. I just don't remember. Um, where the hell am I? Oh, you poor boy. Sir Hendrick told me all about what they put you through. But you didn't let it beat you. He kept on fighting until the king realized the truth and released us. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Oh, my little soldier through and through. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I could burst. I wouldn't have thought it when I was locked up in that dank dungeon living on bread and water. But King Carnelian knows how to put on a good spread. If he thinks we're going to forgive him just because he gave us a good feed, he's got another thing coming. Eyes are awfully tasty, though. Oh, I'm torn. My heart says one thing, but my belly says another. Don't forgive him. Well, there, Doug. John must be too somewhere. I'm sure she'd be over the moon to see you. Two aren't children anymore, you know. Take my advice if you open to be with her one day. You need to show her you care. Oh, this is the life. Doubt I'll ever get the chance to eat this much tasty grub again. Better make the most of it, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What am I doing here? Well, all those guards are just keeping an eye on the folks from Cobblestone who were invited along to the banquet, you see. Bury the hatchet and all that. I'm certainly not complaining. Kia. I was minding my own business down the town. Some guards came up and asked me if I'd mind coming up to the castle and keeping the folks from Cobblestone Company. Well, I had nothing better to do, so I came. I'm glad I did. I've never eaten so much Greek grub in all my life. I will definitely still continue to hate him when he, when I know who he is. It's great seeing you and me old muck Eric again. I know you don't have to skulk around trying not to get spotted no more. Yep, now the king's gone pardon you. You don't have to worry about being slung back on the cells. You freeze birds, both of you. I can't but happier. You look pretty wiped out, dog. Well, I guess you don't get a banquet thrown in your honor every day. If you want to crash, you should grab a rest room downstairs. I think we're over on the west side of the castle. I understand you're actually the Prince of Dondrasil. He survived the terrible tragedy that befell the kingdom all those years ago. Well, if in the future you should choose to rebuild your kingdom, know that it would be an honor to help you. You have no doubt that countless people would rally to your cause. Yeah, you know what, Drag? That sounds... that sounds legitimate. Tristan's Armor. Mermaid Princess led King Tristan deep beneath the waves to an undersea realm. 
where the citizens were engaged in a contest of strength, wrestling one another in order to be recognized as the strongest. If you can defeat my father, the princess told him, he will grant you my hand in marriage. And thus the two kings fought. But so perfectly were these warriors matched that though they wrestled for seven days and seven nights, neither could gain victory. So awestruck was the king of the ocean that the warrior king might, that he offered him not only his daughter's hand in marriage, but also one of the great treasures of his realm. From this treasure, a lustrous scarlet scale as strong as steel and as light as silk, the warrior king forged a beautiful suit of crimson armor. But he could not wed the princess, for he was a man of his word, and had not defeated her father. He turned his back on his beloved and, to her dismay, left the undersea kingdom, never to return. I don't know how I feel about that. Mighty armlet, huh? Because Hendrick doesn't need it. Why, Jasper? Why? I have a funny feeling I've seen that blue haired chap somewhere before, the one standing outside the banqueting hall. What could it have been? Ah, oh, sometimes like this, you wish old Noah was around. Take one look at him and tell you everything you want to know, more, in fact. Uh, yes, no one knows exactly who he is. Quite true. When I was first serving this appalled, uh, modest meal, I thought it was some kind of joke. But actually, it turned out to be rather tasty. Oh my gosh. Why? Every time I find a me mini medal, I feel like I'm being mocked. Ugh, drab room this is. There any way to treat an honored guest? Do they not know who I am? Meanwhile, it seems a rabble from some forsaken backwater called Cobblestone and join a banquet at the king's invitation. What in the world can he be thinking? Oh, maybe Elkia. Miss me if it isn't the luminary. Don't you have better places to be than a hot, sweaty kitchen? If I were you, I'd head to the banquet hall and get ready for the meal of a lifetime. Ever seen the cook so fired up? Didn't, didn't we already eat? Oh, are you this luminary fellow then? I imagine you'd be a tough looking sort. You're a real strange bean. You look like you need a hearty dinner or two to put some meat on your bones. Can't go saving the world with the tummy rumbling now, can you? <laughs> oh dear, lost my poor little kitty cat. Staff aren't supposed to have pets, of course. So I can't tell anyone or I'll get in trouble. Yes, there is. Move it. Move it so we can get into the king's into the king's room. Let's go. Let's go. Young Jasper for the first time, you know. It was way back before you were born. Seemed like a nice young lad. 
wonder what it all went wrong. What the foul force could have pulled them toward the bark path, I wonder? Devils in the details. I know all these recipes, so apparently I've read these. Ah, yes, the shield. And a book that I can't read. How many times did all the king came up to me and told me to clear out Sir Jasper's room? He just said, I'm not keeping a room for a dead man. And stormed off. All Sir Jasper did to defend the kingdom. What kind of a thing is this to say is that? Yep, I am still not ready to read that book. Guess you won't go down to the dungeon for old time's sake? Joke aside, I'm afraid I can't let anyone down there right now. Sorry. You know, you do still have a dragon in the basement. Maybe you should handle that. I just want you to know, we may have fulfilled our duty and taken you to Yggdrasil. That doesn't mean Serena and I are just going to go home now. We're not going anywhere until Mordegon's finally been taught a lesson. I'm talking about you, the first time we met you, Doug. We both thought the same thing that we met before a long, long time ago. It's strange, isn't it? Oh, so worried about you, Doug. So glad you made it back safe and sound. Just hope that one day, you know, once we've all gone home to Cobblestone and built everything, hope we can, um, that you and me can, um, uh... listen to me, Rabbity Tonic, don't be, Doug. I'm just being silly and selfish. I know you have far more important things to be worrying about than me. I'll stop what you're doing. <laughs> I know. There you are, Doug, darling. The people of Hilly were such a scream. I can't remember the last time I had so much fun. Come on, why don't you show them your moves? It's a party. Don't be shy now. Moves? That style is truly amazing. I just started playing the improvise a whole routine. Incredible. Oh, he's truly world class. Imagine the two of us teaming up to travel the world together. Could be a beautiful thing. Do you want... How do you feel about being called a Soldier of Smile? I've been wanting to say this for a while, but you know, both me being a guard and need to be professional and all that, never seemed like quite the right time. Look, the truth is, I think you're great. And once everything's settled down, maybe we could, um, maybe we could be, you know, together and stuff. So what do you say, will you marry me? Let's just skip past the dating phase. <laughs> no, let me into the king's room. Wretched dog has been barking incessantly. Doesn't it know that's the king's chamber? Oh, that's the yapping and the racket from downstairs. It'd be a miracle if the king manages to get to sleep. It'd be in a foul mood in the morning. As if he's not in a foul mood all the time. That was a banquet and a half. I may have slightly overdone it, though. Still, it's best. Ending we've had here at the castle since Princess Jade was born. What is it? I'm very His Majesty's not wished to be disturbed. I must ask you, 
Not to make any more noise. The king's chamber's there. Just there. And Princess Jade's room is opposite. I don't want this to sound like a criticism, but the king is hardly known for his hospitality. I was a bit surprised when he threw this banquet, to be honest. Please. How can you put this? He's not the sentimental type. He doesn't hope even put flowers on the late queen's grave. Don't tell anyone I told you that. Alright, so, um... East side of the castle, I think they said... Yes, a thing. That, let's call it that, Elkia. to go. I can't really blame them, but some of the gods seem to be enjoying this banquet a little too much. They're making quite a rocket. Majesties are tired for the night, you see. I wonder about him being woken up by the noise. He needs to sleep, you know. I doubt he sleeps. So how is the banquet? Did you have fun? I've been speaking to my father, but I won't lie to you. Something doesn't feel quite right. I mean, after all these years, I suppose that's not surprising, but still. Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't really something you need to worry about, Doug. You should turn in for the night. There's a bed in the room through there. Am I going to wake up to the king standing over me? Give me the sword. Look, bed's big enough for two. the sword surely it cannot be what are you doing accursed luminary give it to me give me the sword of light it belongs to me uh, hmm. your eyes are a, a uh, distressingly shade of red king Princess, what is the meaning of this? Eyes. I knew it. You're not my father. Look at you. You're a monster, not a man. Yeah, blight are you. I had a feeling in my waters that something wasn't quite right with you, Carnelian. So this whole thing was a sham? The banquet, the speeches. Wow, that's cold. So who are you? Grr! He disappeared. I'm good at guessing things. I just know how poor stories are written. Something tells me he won't have gone far. Quick, let's search the castle.
What have I served all these years? Not a man, but a monster. Mm, it kind of makes you feel bad for not questioning his his uh, orders, doesn't it? No matter how weird they were. Huh, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Huh, huh. emanating from the throne room. I would record a decent adventure log before I that way if I were you. And now you all get to hate me because this is the breakpoint. <laughs> 